Welcome Protege. In this tutorial we're going to cover fillet and chamfer. Now we're covering these at the same time because they're, they're pretty similar to each other. When you're using fillet that gives you a rounded edge whereas you're using chamfer that gives you more of a, a flat edge. So first we're going to cover fillet. Now this can either be a 2D operation or a 3D operation. So we're going to cover the 2D operation first. So let's go ahead and create a sketch. And we'll do a simple two point rectangle. And under the sketch tab, click on fillet. And with fillet, you have to click on two lines that make up the vertex. So for example, if you wanted to fillet this corner here, you would have to click on this line and this line. And similar to other operations, you can click and drag the arrow. And we'll just keep it at a quarter inch. And I'll fill it the, the other corners as well. And then just hit enter when you're finished. So now we have the rounded corners. Now we can stop sketch. And extrude that sketch. And it extrudes it with the rounded corners. Once you extruded your part, you can also do a fillet as a 3D operation. So under modify, you can either hit fillet or there's a shortcut key. And then you can click on click on the, the outer edge and the bottom edge and then click and drag as well. Well sometimes you get this error message saying the requested size can't, can't be created. So you just have to make it a little bit smaller. Let's try 0.2. Let's try 0.05. Next we're going to cover chamfer. Now I'm going to just hit control Z and show you what chamfer does. Again it's under modify just below fillet. And similar to, to fillet you just click on the edge and you can drag this button. And notice that the surface is flat or beveled. And you can also change the chamfer type. So this is equal distance. You also have two distances. Where you can vary this distance and also this distance. Another chamfer type is distance and angle. So you vary this distance here and then you can change the angle like that. I'm just going to keep it at equal distance. Next I'm just going to add another cylinder on top of this. So we'll go to create sketch and click this top surface. C for circle and just click somewhere in the middle. And let's just make this diameter one inch. So I'll stop the sketch and we can extrude that. And I'll show you what it looks like to do both a fillet and a chamfer on a cylinder. So first we'll start with fillet and do this bottom edge here. So you can see what that looks like. Next I'll do chamfer on this top edge of the cylinder. And drag the arrow. 
and now we can see the differences side by side. So you notice that the chamfered edge is more beveled or flat while the, the fillet is rounded. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.